Headphone jack, check. USB-C, check. Wireless charging, check. Fast charging, check. An SD card slot, check. Water resistance, check. Is there, is there really anything else? A fingerprint scanner, check. The LG V series of smartphones has always been for those who want a phone that is a photo, video, and audio powerhouse. Now, in its third iteration, LG aims to achieve that same goal once again by refining its recipe to make the LG V30 one of the best smartphones LG has ever made. This is my review of the LG V30. First off, let's start with the design. I think the size is perfect. I can't really hit all four corners of the screen without having to be using both hands, but that's the substitute of having an 18 by 9 aspect ratio. But thanks to the shape of the phone, it's really comfortable to hold in the hand. Unfortunately, there's just a few design flaws with the LG V30. The speaker grills and the microphones are at the bottom of the device, and most times when I'm holding the phone, I have my pinky at the bottom just like this. And if my pinky is at the bottom just like this, and I'm holding the phone, it will muffle the audio. Or if I'm recording a video, sometimes I hold it like this, and when I play back that audio, it's all muffled. So what I think they should have done is use two speaker grills, one at the bottom here, and probably one on the top. So hopefully in the near future, they could fix that by just rearranging the positions of the speaker grills and the microphone slots. Next up, let's talk about the screen. Now, another huge plus about this phone is the screen. And it's just really really beautiful the colors are amazing it's sharp and it's just one of the best screens that i have ever seen it doesn't have a notch which is amazing so if you're watching those full screen videos you could just zoom in just like that you'd lose some like frames off the video but you'll still get that full like beautiful view it reminds me of for example the galaxy s8 or the galaxy s9 the entire design reminds me of it, which is not a bad thing because the Galaxy S8 has amazing design. So the screen is just perfect to me. It doesn't have a notch. The bezels are very, very minimal and it doesn't have like an on-screen. It has on-screen keys. So that's why you could have that full display going on right here. If you guys could see it, really amazing things. I love, I love the phone. I love the design on the screen. The screen gets really bright when I go outside. It gets really bright, I can still see and everything, so I have no issues with the screen. Everything works perfectly fine. The screen is just amazing. I love it. Good job, LG. It's an OLED screen. Looks amazing. It's up there with the Galaxy screens. Probably even better. Who knows? Another thing I want to talk about with the LG V30, and it's the software. And this might be a downfall for some people. If you've ever used any LG phone, you should already know that the UI feels are it just feels like i don't know it's more cartoony and it's 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 like ios but just not ios it's i don't know i don't really like how it looks the icon looks weird i had to switch it around and use nova launcher to change up the phone so now it looks like a pixel and now i'm happy but the ui and everything it's just it has a theme over it that i don't really like it looks cheap I don't know I think they should try redesigning their whole icon setup and everything and the overall software and UI as I said before reminds me of Apple for example in the camera app you could see like you have the mode you have the same filter thing right here it just reminds me of Apple but overall UI software you could just change that around with Nova launcher get some skins themes and as you can see mine looks like a pixel which is awesome next up guys we're gonna talk about the battery life the battery life is amazing speaking about battery as i said before it also has wireless charging which is also good and it comes with fast charging straight out of the box so you get the fast charging brick and you get the fast charging cable on like apple you have to buy it for like 150 some dollars extra which is crazy but the battery life is amazing it lasts me a day and a half if you're going to hear where's the battery settings um yeah, so as you can see right here, I have that screen on time. The overall battery life is good. It doesn't heat up or anything like that. I'm just having an amazing time with the battery life. It's good. Battery life, good. Charging, fast charging, amazing. Can't really complain on the battery department for the LG V30. And last but not least, we're going to look at the camera. I left the best for last. So this thing right here, let it focus. 
that beautiful thing around the back guys that is the camera and as you can see we have two and then a flash right beside of it now one of the cameras is for a wide angle the other one is for like just a normal camera it doesn't have those fancy portrait modes or anything like that i personally rather a camera having a wide angle and then a portrait mode by software like what google did they use software to get portrait mode so i think that's the best way to go have the wide angle and a portrait mode with the software primary lens which is super cool now let's just jump in more of like the technical things about the camera and let's see where it goes the front and and the front camera and the back facing camera so let's get started okay so the main sensor is a 16 megapixel shooter with an f1.6 aperture with ois and the secondary wide angle sensor is a 13 megapixel camera with a slightly narrow aperture of f 1.9 there's no optical image stabilization on the secondary sensor but it doesn't need it due to the wide angle and the focus being set to infinity and yeah that's basically all the technical things you need to know about the camera enough of the talking here's some shots that i took with the lg v30 let me know what you think Now, to wrap things up guys, the LG V30 is a very amazing phone, I love the design, I love the feel, it's super lightweight, which a lot of people might not like, but I personally like it because it's less pressure on my hands. Now, this phone started around $800 in the States, if it's a bit too expensive, let me know what you think, but for all the features you're getting, I think it's worth it, it has everything, it has a headphone jack, SD card slot, the only thing that's missing right now is a removable battery, but who does that anymore? It's not really something that we're looking forward to in 2018, but the LG V30 is definitely a 10 out of 10 for me. If you're looking to get one, I'll leave some links down below. I spent one month with the phone before doing a review, so I know a lot about it, and I definitely would recommend anyone for like getting a new phone or switching from an older LG phone. It's definitely worth it. So yes, guys, let me know your thoughts down below of the LG V30, and always, love, peace, and tweaks. Signing out.